Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we know that Indian Navy is in process of procuring 24 ML60R Romeo helicopters from US. These helicopters are going to be equipped with anti-ship missiles which Navy will be procuring from Kongsberg, a Norwegian company which has developed NSH ML anti-ship missile with a range over 185 kilometers. At present, India does not have any indigenous option in this segment. Back in 2018, DRU has first announced that it is working on a helicopter-launched anti-ship missile which is a stealth missile called NASMSR or Naval Anti-Ship Missile Short Range. The missile was unveiled for the very first time during Defense Expo 2020. After the completion of development of NASMSR missile, it will complement the NSH ML missile but may not completely replace it as it will have comparatively less range. Now, as per the latest update, DRDO has completed the development of naval anti ship missile NASM and its integration with Sea King helicopter has started. We can expect the trials of the missile pretty soon. The missile will have range between 5 to 55 km, which is very less when compared with Norwegian NSH ML. However, this will be the beginning and stepping stone for DRDO, and the range can later be increased. The NASMSR weighs close to 375 kg with 100 kg of warhead, which means it will be effective against small and medium ships, while Norwegian NSH ML weighs 400 kg, almost same, with 125 kg of warhead, but much larger range, which is 185 km. So clearly, DRDO will have to work on improving the range of the missile on future variants while keeping the weight same which means they must improve the propulsion technology of the missile. DRDO has plans to develop the future version of NASM-SR which is NASM-MR and LR. MR stands for medium range and LR stands for long range. NASM-SR being developed will be integrated with MS-60R Romeo helicopters in future seeking and LH MK3 helicopters. MBDA has also pitched Indian Navy with its Sea Venom missile, which has a range of 25 kilometers, and Marte ER with a range more than 100 kilometers for IMRH program. DRDO's NASM SR will be also able to fit into the requirement of Indian Navy, and this will supplement the limited stock of Kongsberg's Naval Strike missile. According to DRDO, the NASM-SR will be a 380 kg projectile with a maximum range of 55 km and used initially with Indian Navy's Sea King helicopter replacing earlier Sea Eagle missiles. The missile will have 100 kg of warhead which has unique multi-EFP or explosively formed penetrator anti-ship warhead. This is the first time DRDO has implemented multi-EFP warhead in one of its weapon system. The NSMSR will be powered by a solid full rocket motor. The missile will have maximum speed of Mach 0.8. The missile will have both sea skimming and lofted trajectory flight modes. The missile can be launched from an altitude of just 91 meters to 3 kilometers. The missile can cruise at an altitude of 15 meter during mid course and 5 meter during terminal stage. For the first 35 km, missile has flight duration of 130 seconds and for the rest of the course till 55 km it is 200 seconds. The missile has all weather lock on after capability. It also has capability for automatic target selection. It uses inertial navigation and altimeter for mid-course guidance and IIR seeker for terminal homing. It also has a two-way data link which can help it to abort or change the target. Sea skimming, IIR seeker and two-way data link makes the jamming and detection of this missile very very difficult. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.